Today we're going to check out a new set of water shoes. These are made by a company called A Leader. They're based in China and they sent us uh, courtesy a couple pairs of water shoes to try out, a pair for me and a pair for Brad. Uh, and as you know, when we do a lot of canoeing, we spend half our time outside of the boat, you know, when it's uh, rocky and through rapids and things like that. So this weekend we're heading down to Georgian Bay and we're going to put these uh, new shoes through their paces. So I don't know what to think at first, actually. They, uh, they're interesting. Um, this kind of mesh upper, I'm not sure how uh, protected it is. It looks more like something I'd want to uh, wear just kind of flopping around in the water, unless maybe going through rapids and where there's debris. Um, I can see sticks and stones kind of getting through there. Uh, same with the bottom. And I don't really see any laces to tie the shoe up, so I'm not really sure how it's going to fit. Um, this is my size, but we'll see how the actual fit is once it's on. Um, I'm not sure about traction either. It's got kind of like this um, raised mid area. Um, it, it looks like it's gonna have really good drainage, but my first impression is it looks more like something to hang around at the dock, um, do some swimming in where you got rocks and stuff, and maybe less so for wading through mucky uh, nonsense. Just because there's no laces to keep it on you. Um, it doesn't look like it has a lot of traction. And with this open mesh, I'm not sure how durable that's gonna be. Um, we'll see. Uh, they're very light, which is nice. I mean, it feels feels good. Um, but yeah, like I see, I said, uh, we'll see how it um, it works when we actually get out and try them. These men's quick drying aqua shoes are manufactured by a Chinese company called A Leader, and can be purchased through online sites such as AliExpress or Amazon. They retail for around $25 to $30 US. These shoes are ultra low weight. My size eights weighed in at a mere 120 grams each. That's only four ounces. The upper material is made from an open concept fabric mesh, allowing for breathability and quick water drainage. The shoelaces are really just for show, as they are non-adjustable. However, their elasticity does help to keep these shoes snug to your feet. The rubber outsole contains more than 50 holes of varying sizes, which aids in speedy water drainage. In fact, I'd have to say that this is the fastest draining water shoe that I have ever worn. Notably absent are any deep grooved tread patterns. At first glance, these soles appear to be pretty basic, but looks can be deceiving. They may not look very aggressive, but they perform extremely well. I was thoroughly impressed by the grip these soles provided both in and out of the water. The insole is easily removed for cleaning and it is perforated to help with the flow of water. These lightweight shoes were very comfortable to wear. Without socks, my feet remained blister free and despite their lack of tie-up laces, they always felt perfectly snug and never loose. And Brad and I sure put them through their paces, whether dragging the boat across beaver dams, walking through weedy, muddy streams, traversing the rocky Georgian Bay coastline, or even a short portage, trekking through the bush and hauling our canoe and gear down a steep rocky incline. These shoes held up well. And in the end, I'd say they work great as water shoes because basically there's a lot of mesh, a lot of holes. They drain the water really, really fast, but they're not a really what I would call a sturdy shoe. They are kind of flimsy. They're more like a slipper. Uh, the one thing though that did surprise me, I thought the sole and the tread, it looked pretty flimsy and it didn't look like it would stick. But I was really surprised how well these gripped rocks, especially wet rocks. Brad, what do you think about these shoes? So I feel these would probably best be suited for, you know, hanging around at the dock, going in a stand-up paddleboard, 
or just cruising around the lake in a kayak. They did do fairly well uh, when, you know, submitted to beaver dams and having sticks and stones moving through them. I did get a few sticks stuck in the bottom um, between the mesh and the, the sole every now and then, but they actually didn't go and push my foot. Um, so it, it did stop, the, the sole did actually stop the stick from hitting me. Um, I mean, in terms of longevity, if you're going to take it on a canoe trip, obviously, if you're going to do any serious walking, take it off, put on um, a proper uh, shoe with uh, ankle support. Anything with slippery rocks and stuff where you need to be maybe dragging the canoe or walking uh, through, say, doing like a line or a lift over, uh, they might not give you as much support, so you might want you know, more of a hybrid sort of water shoe. Again, I think these are best suited for maybe hanging around on the dock, going for a swim, if the water's got uh, stuff in it you don't want to hit, but also, you know, hitting on a paddle board, going for some uh, canoeing and kayaking as well. Just uh, day tripping and stuff. But I mean, they did hold up pretty well going down the river. I was quite surprised. I thought they were, they weren't going to be that well. I thought it was kind of gimmicky at first, all this mesh, but um, you know, it's surprising too for no laces. They actually stayed on my feet. Uh, they fit my feet pretty well. And yeah, they drained really quickly. So that was, that was a good thing as well.